Hello friends, welcome back. This is Madan again. Today I am going to introduce a popular logging library called Nlog uh, to log the information or the error from our API. So this is the project that we are developing in our previous um, series. Uh, and uh, uh, in this demo I'm going to use <coughs> the error logging library and why we need error logging library or the logging library say whenever we uh, do something and uh, we want to know what's happening to our application then we need to log our we need to log the information or the error to somewhere let's say we can save uh, save the uh, uh, information that we want to log into the file or we can send that yet to uh, to our email email or we can write that information or the errors uh, or the exceptions produced by the application to the database so let's say uh, this we are in the product repository product controller here and whenever the user tries to uh, access uh, this get method and let's say if some exception occur then now we are just returning bad request to the caller of this api but uh, and the whenever exception occur the caller application or the client will um will get this exception but uh, we don't know what uh, what's happening to our application so if we want to know what's going on with our application then we may want to log that exception here so and uh, uh, we want to keep uh, that exception or the information into the place uh, uh, where we can find that easily so let's introduce and log to our application and i'm going to add a new get package here manage new get package And I'm going to search for analog dot ASP net core so I'm going to use this package analog dot web dot ASP net core and it has 24.2 million downloads let's install this So it has successfully installed here into our application and it's giving us the readme.txt so if we are interested then we can visit those urls and learn more about the analog and uh, now we have installed the analog to our application and then we need to configure it so i'm going to the program file first of all we need a place uh, to our application where uh, where we want to keep that log message so in this demo i'm going to store the log into the folder but in future demo uh, we will develop a <coughs> we'll configure our logging uh, to log to the database or to the email also so let's create a folder here i'm going to add a folder new folder and then logs so we are going to store our logs inside this folder and now i'm going to <coughs> get this log folder path here so variable log path equal to let's use path dot path and then bring in this namespace here path dot combine so we get this path here using directory dot get current directory and then we combine that this get current directory will get this directory or the directory on which uh, our application is running and then we combine this with our logs folder logs so this is a place we want to log and then uh, we need to tell analog where to find this log path or when we want to where we want to store our log information so what we can do is we can do analog dot it has a global diagnostic context class and it has a set method and we can set a uh, key and the value so we say log directory D I R E C T O R I. you can give any name you want here and then the, we give log path to it so that we can access it later from the analog now by default this use the uh, default logger provided by the <coughs> .NET 5 and we need to configure this uh, uh, to use the analog so configure cnfig where you configure logging option we're going to use this and i'm going to pass option here opt goes to and then let's give our option first of all we need to clear the default logging provided by the application so we need can set clear providers 
and then after then we need to set the minimum log label we want to log in our application and this can be accessed through the log label dot let's say we want to store um, uh, a log from the trace and lastly we need to say our application to use n log dot use n log and then let's bring in the namespace so this log label here uh, there are different log labels and it starts from the trace so trace trace after trace we have oops my mistake after let's comment this we have a trace at the lowest level and then we have a debug label debug and then we have a info and then we have a warning we are an ing warning and then error and then fatal so these are the log labels so if we want to trace if you want to store or get all the logs produced by the application then we need to uh, start logging from the minimum so we specify the trace but if you want to speak to, uh, skip trace level and want to only log the from the debug errors or if you want to only store or log the info then you can start from the info and then skip these trace and debug so we have told our application to use the analog now analog requires uh, us to have a, a configuration file analog configuration file so let's add that analog configuration file here add and then i'm going to use the new empty file here n log dot c-o-n-f-i-z config and this n and l should be capital here so this is a analog config file and we are going to uh, say analog how to config our or how to log the application errors or the information that we want to log from this configuration file and i have uh, copied the info or the things that are required to our configuration file here so i'm going to copy and paste that here and you can always visit the website of the analog here this is the url and then you will learn more about the configuration file and detail about the analog from this site so now here <coughs> we are going to start from here i have created a variable here and the name of the variable is the log directory and we, you can give any name here so this is not uh, uh, something that analog gives this is the name that we put here so this is a variable name log directory and the value of the log directory is global diagnostic context dot log directory that is this global diagnostic context dot log directory means uh, this uh, this statement here will gives us the value for our directory this value that we set or where we want to put our log messages so we have stored this path into the log directory here and analog require us to specify the target and how we want to write message to those targets so in this demo i am going to log the information to the file text file inside this folder and i'm going to um, i'm also going to log the information to the console here so in this console but i'm going to use the colored console that means the messages are displayed in uh, call uh, in some uh, color some yellow color so this is the color colored console so these are the targets file mean we can is, we are logging to the file and we are logging to the console here and you can give any name here this is the uh, same like the variable name log file log console but we need uh, these names later on down here to the rules section and then here so we are going to log to the file and we need to provide the file name here which file we want to log so our directory is uh, um, uh, in this variable log directory so we are bringing in the log directory and uh, this is sort date is the variable provided by the n log that means it gives the date in the sort format uh, that means our log file would, would will sit inside the log directory uh, slash and date and then log text log text file and then this is the layout how you, 
how we want to uh, store our log messages so format and that means the our log messages in the uh, in the first place our log messages will have the long date after then we will get the label a log label that is the info error warning and uh, this will be converted to the uppercase and in this lastly we have actual log message and I will show you uh, what this layout means shortly uh, and uh, secondly we are going to log to the console color console here and we have given the name to the log console and the layout is the same as before but you can uh, twist this layout and always uh, get more information from the actual documentation of the analog here and here after we specify the targets we are setting the rules from here and we give the name to the uh, rules uh, as asterisk that means uh, uh, all the uh, loggings uh, that are produced by our application object will catched by this logger here that means the wildcard asterisk and we are going to log from the trace level that means the minimum level uh, we have specified here is trace that means we are uh, storing or fetching all the logs all types of logs produced by the application and where we want to write this uh, log we want to write this log to the log console and what is log console log console is this name here log console and second rule is uh, we, we are also catching again catching all the log informations uh, from our application and then the minimum label is trace that means we want to catch all the log information um, and you can always play with those values here and we want to write that to the log file so um, we are going to produce two kind of log information from our application and we are writing this to the log console and we are also writing this to the log file inside this uh, log folder so this sets of uh, <coughs> our n log now we can try this so I am going to the controller here product controller and then uh, let's use the logger uh, API here I logger and then we need to pass the product controller here product controller controller let's say logger and then let's bring in the namespace for this logger and this comes from microsoft.extensions.logging here and let's create a field for this and being a private variable I am <coughs> making it underscore logger and then let's say uh, we want to log if any exception occur into our uh, from our get methods and first of all let's produce exception here so let's uh, at the right at the moment our method is not producing here any exception but let's simulate that condition here return new exception error occur and then I don't know why this is giving me an error here not returning we need to throw that exception here my bad throw a new exception and then let's log that exception so we can use logger dot and then this is the error we know we are logging from inside the exception uh, or inside the catch block so we can specify logger that log error and then we can pass anything um, any message we want to store into our log file so now let's run the application our application has started and let's try this api slash product try and then execute and we see that here we have got the exception here and now let's check the console and as you can see this is the log logging message from the analog in the colored console template here or the colored console target that we specified uh, in this target name here and we have also specify our log message to store into this file and let's check this so in the log file we have seen that our sort date this uh, sort date has appeared here dot log and then let's open this and we see that the exception error occurred that is the message that we have given from our product controller here the, that error occurred here 
and uh, in this file the message has appeared in the specific format so this one here is the matches this output matches to the or any of the line output matches to the layout that we specified in our target name so in the layout first of all we have a long date and in the log file you can see we have long date after that we have a capitalized log type error here so as you can see we have a capitalized log label after that we have actual logging message here so this is the actual logging message so in this way we can use nlog uh, to log the information or the exception from our api as well as uh, the asp.net core mbc application and in the future video we will continue <coughs> improving uh, this uh, analog or we will continue learning new things about the analog and uh, logging in our web api uh, so this is it in this uh, video friends and thanks for watching if you like this video then please don't forget to share and subscribe have a great day